everyone, this is Miss Lawrence again here and I'm just going to do your art tutorial video for this week. I'd like you to complete this task on Friday the 9th of October. Um, we're sticking with the theme that we've um, already got of prehistoric animals and I thought what we'd do today is have a go at drawing a triceratops. So a triceratops was a herbivore um, dinosaur and the translation of the name um, effectively means three horned face so um, it's one of my favorite dinosaurs um, it was around 68 million years ago that these would have been on on the planet and I guess you could say um, they're a little bit similar looking to um, a rhinoceros um, that we obviously still have these days as well so let's have a go at drawing one I'm going to do um, mine in a sharpie pen just so it stands out but if you guys do yours in pencil and then obviously if you need to make um, any changes or corrections you can rub out your mistakes and have another go okay so what this time we're gonna have our paper landscape so that's kind of sideways on and if we um, can look at the sheet of paper and we're going to begin um, over to the right hand side roughly in the middle of the paper so around about here and this first line we're going to do is a bumpy line so it's lots of little curves that go up and stuff about there it looks a little bit like a fluffy cloud at the moment but from that point we're going to bring it down like that okay uh, I'm going to pop another one just underneath. It reminds me of the shape of a, a wing or something like that. You can see it could uh, potentially have feathers on it. So that's called the frill. That was the part on the Triceratops' head and um, it's really well recognised for. Um, now, because it's a Triceratops, it needs some horns. So we we'll draw the first horn there like that. Just do a little curve underneath. And then its face is going to come out this way in a bumpy line, like that. And then going back the other way, a curved line with a little dash there just to look like its mouth. And underneath here, the bottom of his chin. That's going to go across there in a bumpy line like that. Now we're missing a horn, so we need to do the other horn, which you would see part of behind there, and then the one on the end of his nose, a bit like a rhino. And it's going to need an eye. So draw a curved line to start with for the eyelid. And then a, like a lemon shape for the eye. Just pop a little bit of shading in there. And now we're going to do the front leg. So from that point there, draw a line going down and pop some toes on the bottom like that. And just curve that back up there. And then the other front leg We'll make it look as though it's walking, so let's pop that out at an angle like that. Okay, so there's the two front legs. Now its body, it's kind of a large curve. It's up and down like that. I'll explain what that bit's for in a moment. It's quite, just hold that still so you can see. And then underneath here, so from that front leg, draw its tummy, curves up like that, like a big smile. And then we need back legs. So we'll draw one coming down, try and have them so that they're finishing the same kind of point on the page at the bottom there. So 
there's one back leg and then you just see part of the other leg there okay just hidden behind and then this long line that we drew earlier this is going to be the tail so I'm just going to draw that like that so it connects up to his back leg now there's a basic shape but we need to add a little bit of detail so let's start by putting some lines on the tail some short broken lines along the back and how about a little bit of texture because I think its skin would have been quite bumpy some lines going this way down the leg and this way and let's not forget it needs a little nostril on the nose there and some detail just around the horn and then on the frill so around here I'm going to put little scales and then a line pattern like that kind of fans out in that kind of shape you could put some ground on there as well so it looks like he's standing on the on the ground okay so there's our triceratops and have a go and I can't wait to see what you do. Good luck.